In this portion of the FXDM educational video series, we're going to take a look at the concepts of support and resistance and how that applies to risk control. So in this case, what we're trying to do as traders is to evaluate a time at which it's more risky, or at least the estimate is that it's more risky to be adding to a position or initiating a position versus when it may be a little bit less risky. So we're exercising risk control in the perspective of our overall estimate of what we think risk is likely to be in the near term. So conceptually, what we're talking about when we say support and resistance is that resistance is identified at a price level at which the currency pair has not been able to break through for a while. And of course, support is just the opposite where let's say a currency pair has been falling but has been unable to break through a particular price level uh, there as well. So the way that a trader would evaluate this, of course, is depends on the kind of position that they are either in or that they're considering. So let's say, for example, that we have long traders who have been riding this trend to the upside. Now, eventually, they start to perceive that there's a level of resistance here. So at this point, they have to know that their risk is potentially elevated at that resistance level. So therefore, they're taking the appropriate action. Rather than adding risk or initiating a long position, they may be considering taking profits or simply not initiating a new position. And by the same token, of course, if we have shorts that have been taking advantage of a potential trend to the downside, and they can tell that there's some support that's beginning to emerge, then they know that their relative estimated level of risk here at this support level may not match the kind of risk that they were exposed to without a floor in the price as they were trading earlier. So therefore, they're able to make a decision relative to where they are compared to support or resistance that accommodates the fact that risk may be enhanced here for shorts or enhanced here for longs and of course vice versa where a long trader may want to be able to initiate positions at support and a short trader may evaluate resistance as potentially a less risky entry area. In fact, let's take a look at this example but in a more real life scenario here on the yen. As you can see in 2015, the yen had established a resistance level that it was unable to break through. So here again, longs would have known that they were at an enhanced risk when it gets to that level. They may consider taking profits and as a way to remove risk of an existing position or simply not initiating a long position at that level. So remember, whether we're talking about position sizing, correlation, or support and resistance, this is all about trying to make more informed decisions about the things that we have some control over in the Forex rather than leaving those things to chance, which of course introduces inconsistency and unpredictable profits.